So Happy was a book looking at happiness, but also the other end of the spectrums. I knew after the release of Happy, and thankfully people liked it and I got nice feedback, um, that I had more to say, but I didn't know quite what I wanted to say. So then looking at stress, which everybody deals with on a daily basis on varying degrees, um, felt like a good place to start. So that's where Calm was born. And Calm looks more at stress, anxiety, you know, the daily banal stuff that we all go through, but also the more extreme end of the scale. So post-traumatic stress, panic attacks, um, bereavement, with a lot of extreme emotions or negative emotions or things we label as being bad, you feel alienated and that makes it all worse. You know, the last thing you need is to feel alone in it. And I think especially with, say, sort of specifically panic attacks, if you've had panic attacks, you can feel like a bit of a freak, like, well, everyone else here is feeling so calm and quite cool about this situation. Why am I feeling absolute sheer physical panic, like that there's something wrong with me. And I think as soon as someone else goes, oh God, you know, when I had young kids and loads going on in life, I, I had that, like that's no biggie, that's fine. You know, then you go, oh God, phew, you know, it's, it's not feeling so alone in it. When you're doing an audio book, you've got, you know, an engineer sat there and you're sort of reading your diary aloud and it's kind of cringy. At times you think, oh, I could have written that better, you know, and you, you kind of go over things in a different way to as if you were just sort of reading them and doing the editor's notes. That's more of a sort of a clinical process. This feels really personal. So both times I found it really strange and exposing. 